Hey guys, and welcome back to the start. Nah, shut up, shut up. Look, I know you don't care, okay? I know you don't care about the series. I know you don't you don't care about like, you know, um, my, my course in the description or like my Discord server. I get it, okay? You're here because you want to challenge, okay? You want to challenge yourself. You want to feel this raw power of succeeding in a puzzle. You want to succeed in the face of adversity and struggle, okay? Those are... I'm turning into my grade 10 English teacher, bro. She would say the exact same thing. Damn, I'm getting old, bro. Which shouldn't be possible because I'm not too old. But it's fine. Look, my... Okay, so... <laughs> my bad. <laughs> uh, the challenge um, for this video, okay? I want to see who can make the best Beyblade game. So look, I was on YouTube, you know, and I saw a video of these two guys just going at it. Okay, they were going at it. And it was this like whole like, you know, Beyblade thing. And, you know, they were like spinning it. And it was like all cool. And that made me realize... What if we just implement that into Roblox, right? Beyblade is insanely popular, or at least it was, and you know, it still is. So what if you make a, a Beyblade game and then you actually, you know, like make it, you know, semi good looking and, you know, actually add like, I don't know, like a battle pass or whatever kids these days like, and then just if a Beyblade pass. <laughs> and yeah, and then, you know, you, you give me credits when your game gets like millions of dollars and then you, um, you know, bring me more traffic. So let me show you what I mean, because I actually will show you how I would do this. Okay, so I'm going to show you a preview of what I would do. It's going to be very simple. So it's not going to be like the, the full actual game, right? Because I'm not about to, I'm not about to make a whole game for you, bro. Okay. Um, the idea here is simple. You're going to have two players. Okay. And you're going to have a big arena. That's sort of what I'm expecting. Okay, so you're going to have a pillar here, like so. And... I'll just call this pillar, okay? I'll just put the spawn location over here, like so. There we go. So the idea is that when, you know, players are going to be battling, they're going to have, you know, pillars. So I'll just take this pillar and I'll put it over here. Let's just imagine there's going to be a player over there, okay? I'll just, um, I'm going to add a rig onto here, okay? Um, <laughs> so again, just watch how I do it and then figure out how you can do it yourself okay figure out how you could actually you know take this idea and implement it in your own way to actually make the best game and then you can you know join my server if you want and then like showcase your progress but this is meant for you to actually learn how to make games right because challenges are always fun you know so um i'll take these both of the pillars and i'll um, anchor them so that you know they don't fall amidst our epic battle and now we need an arena Okay, so we need an actual place where we can have our Beyblades. And usually the arenas are like these like bowls, right? They're like, it's like, it's like a bowl. And the best way I, I, I can right now think of getting a bowl is, I guess I could use a union. I could try a union, sure. People say to not use unions because they like take up, because uh, you, you can use terrains as well. People say not to use unions because they take up like, um, performance or, or something which they very well might but again just for this example you know i will um <laughs> i will show you you know a quick like i don't care about performance right now i just want to show you kind of the the idea here behind this game concept so i'll have this part and then i'll duplicate it okay and i, I so i so like like all of the things i'm doing here by the way i have videos on so in case you don't know how to use unions Guess what? I have a video on that. Okay, if you don't know how to use um, um, you know any other features I'll be showing in this video, guess what? I have a video on that. Okay, so you know make sure to go, um, and check those out. But yeah, so now all I need to do is just turn this into a negate, and then I need to take both of these, and then I think I need to union them. Yep, there we go. Okay, yeah, I actually really like this. So then I can anchor it like so i'll just call this arena okay i mean it, it's it's good enough okay it's good enough it, it's not really like a like a bowl but like i like it okay and for beyblades i guess i let's let's make let's okay how about this i'll make a sphere okay i'll make it large can i squeeze it squish it down no i can't okay let's use a Okay, fine. You know what? Just, just just for this example, I'm gonna use a part. Okay, like so. Um, yeah. So this this will be my 
Beyblade, okay? And then let's just, let's just imagine that the other player also has their Beyblade, okay? So I'll, ju I'll just take both of these and I'll, I'll name them Beyblade, like so. So, you know, you're going to have parts. So I, like, uh, I'll show you where I'm getting with this in a bit, okay? And the idea here is I want to see, like, can, can we control the spinning of the Beyblades by spinning ourselves, okay? Can we do that? So, like, let's say, like, this, let's say this is my Beyblade. Like, I, what if I want to spin it by spinning myself, okay? And I'll show you how to do this, actually. So, if I just go to the server real quick, and, you know, I have this Beyblade over here. What I could do is I could add an align orientation, which I have a video on that. Um, it's, like, one of the, you know, recent videos. So, you know, if you don't know how to use this, then check it out. But I'll just try and be quick. I'll speed through this, you know, just to show you kind of what I want, okay? Attach zero here. I'll set the max torque to be insanely huge because why not responsiveness also insanely huge there we go um and then the second attachment will be my attachment so this will be just my head okay oh okay yeah and so now what's going to happen is that whenever i actually spin myself my <laughs> you can't really see it but like <laughs> my uh, my beyblade is spinning wherever i'm spinning Yep, there we go. Yep, there we go. Yep, yep, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, whenever I'm spinning, so if I spin here, it's going to spin. If I spin there, it's going to spin. So now, as I'm spinning, so is my Beyblade. Look, look how... Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Oh, okay. What, what if I... I want to try, like, spamming my keys. Let me let me try that. I, I, I want to spam, like, really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go Beyblade action. Beyblade action. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Look how cool that looks. I had to hold back tears for that one. It <laughs> no, no base plate. So that's your challenge, okay? Make a Beyblade game so i've shown you how to do this okay simply have have pillars okay have an arena and then have it so that you have two players so maybe make like the the limit the server limit to be two players only okay and then they just have a thing where whenever a player joins you create an align orientation for them and then you just you know set what like a, your beyblade to be their beyblade and so whenever they spin their beyblade will spin as well you know and, you know, add, again, add, add a battle pass or, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, and look, look, if you join my Discord server and you showcase, you know, this amazing game, um, who knows? I might, I might give, I might give you Discord Nitro for $10 if, you, if, if your game is just like insanely amazing and cool, okay? So there you go. That's your dev challenge. You know, share this video with friends, you know, to, to have them do this as well, because I think this would be fun. I've never seen anyone do this, you know, this whole challenge thing. So might might be a series, um, which, like I said in the beginning, you don't care about that. OK, but if you're still watching, you probably like me. You love me for my charismatic and very sexy voice, which I, I fully understand. I get that. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe maybe if you love me so much, you should go buy my course in, in the description and the comment section. It's usually 20 bucks, but like Udemy keeps putting it on sale for $14, which I don't know why it's doing that, bro. Udemy is scamming me. It's so sad. But yeah, so we are back to basics. Again, leave a comment on um, potential challenges you want to see next, because I, th I think this would be a fun series to do. And yeah, thank you for watching.